finally, finally, it's you guys. I've been waiting for so long. Yep, I've been waiting the whole entire week, plus 30 minutes because I come home at 3.30. Then I have to wait 30 minutes for youngsters to show, and I love that, and it's so amazing, and I'm so happy to see you guys again this week. Now, today, I'm just gonna give you a tiny bit of a sneak peek. We are going to be going to drum roll please Drrr, a chester in my kidney yes they're gonna be playing chess and we'll see that which is very exciting and we're gonna have so much amazing things with you guys today so let me stop talking because and let's get into it Why are you guys looking at me? Oh, I totally forgot. We always start but a good Kiddy News. I'm so sorry. Now let's see what Kiddy News has installed for us this week. Hello kids. Welcome to another edition of Kiddy News. Today we have a lot to share with you. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Now who knows how to swim? Well, I bet most of you do and those who don't can learn. But imagine if you're taught how to swim when you were a baby. I'm not talking about around five years of age. I mean, what if you learn to swim even before you could walk? I'm feeling her breathing cycle here with my hands. And as she inhales, I take her underwater. So the first time when she goes underwater, she's already inhaled maximally. And the chances of her taking in any water or swallowing air are remote. So she comes up, there's no crying, there's no sputtering, there's no coughing. It sounds impossible, but it's actually true. Parents who own pools are teaching their toddlers how to swim so they don't drown when they fall in the pool. And again, you're always working from the psychological end of the attention span and the physical and the, persona the emerging personality of an infant or a young child. Say go. When you can use language meaningfully, you're no longer an infant. Now you're a child. So I'm matching kind of some of the vocabulary aspects of Sophia and some of her skills verbally, along with her cognitive development and her personality. Turn over and get to the wall. There we go. Get my hand. Good. So I didn't have her struggle all the way to the wall there. When we think of beautiful hair, most people think of long, straight blonde hair. Farouk James, a seven-year-old boy from London, is changing that perception. He decides to keep his hair natural and the internet fell in love with him. He wants people to feel great with their natural hair and not feel lesser if it's tough or curly. He wants people to also appreciate themselves the way they are. This initiative of his has made him very famous that he walked the runway at London Fashion Week. So hi guys, my name is Farouk James and I'm just about to go back but I'm going to tell you all about myself. I like flossing, I like football, I like rugby, I like modeling. Farouk James, you are our celebrity kid of the week. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry received their new baby. They named him Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Everyone says the baby's changed so much over two weeks, we're basically Sort of monitoring how the, uh, how the changing process happens over this next month, really. Scientists have discovered that watching superhero movies such as Spider-Man and Ant-Man reduces the fear of insects and arachnids in kids. So if your friend is afraid of spiders and insects, watch with them superhero movies. Who knows, they might not fear them anymore. Our incredible kid of the week is not one but four, Jacob, Noah, Tom and Jake. They formed a band called Chapter 13 when they were still in school. They went to Britain Got Talent and won the heart of audience with their rendition of Steve Wonder's song Sadiuk. <laughs> that is all we had for you on Kitty News this week. Bye bye. 
in Kenya, we have amazing kids that do amazing things. That's why today I have an amazing person. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name is Atanj. And yours? And my name is Gakenya. So what do you do? Um, I play chess and also probably golf, chess, cricket. Okay. So you play a lot of sports? Yeah. Okay, so how old are you? I'm 10. Okay, and what school do you go to? I go to Oshal Academy in Nairobi Primary, which is in Westland. So why do you like chess? Um, I like chess because it helps me concentrate on what you're doing and what you are going to do. Okay, and which one, between all those sports that you do, which one is your favorite? My favorite is chess. Okay, so when did you start chess? I started chess at the age of six in probably 2016. Okay. Yeah. And then, so you joined a club or something? Yeah, I joined Nacha and my coach is FF Steve Omar. Okay. Yeah. He comes to teach me. Mm hmm. So today you're here at the chess tour? Yeah. And are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited to win the, the tournament because I have three on three points and I hope to come first as the games go on. Okay, and what will happen if you come first? Um, my parents will be great and they'll be proud about me. Okay. And yeah, my name will come up. Your name will come up? Yeah. So, what do you mean your na name will come up? Um, like, I will be famous and then I, ca I can go to other countries and then some clubs can sponsor me. Okay. So what club do you want to sponsor you? Which one do you want to sponsor you? Probably Nacha. Maybe, yeah, probably, yeah, because that's my club. Okay, so where, where do you see yourself playing chess in five years from now? Um, probably in different countries, like I had gone to Kenya, that is here, and I've gone to India, and there yeah, are many more. Okay, so you've gone to India to play chess? Yeah. What are other favorite th sports that you like to do? I like to play golf. Okay. Yeah. What else? Um, cricket, basketball. Mm -hmm. And between those, which one do you prefer? I prefer golf because I have a handicap, which is 23, and it reduces. Like, example, you you have a maximum of seven. These eight, there are 18 holes, and you have to finish them in 71 shots. So, like, my handicap is 23. So you do 71 plus 23, you get 94. Okay. So I have 94 shots. Wow. And that's my lowest. Oh, that's your lowest? Yeah. So what have you, what, what, what's your record for golf? Um, the, the lowest shots I've done are 93 shots and yeah. And normally you're supposed to do 94? Yeah. Oh, so when, okay, that's nice. And um, when, okay, and when you were playing chess, mm. why did you even start playing chess? How did you discover chess? I, I discovered chess when I searched on Google and I saw some news on chess that GM Kasparov, no, GM, yeah, GM Hikaru, yeah. he was so interested in chess and he said he started to inspire me, so that's how I started playing chess. Okay, and who did you start playing with? Um, I started with Mr. Steve, um, FM Steve Omar, yeah, and okay. he's yet my coach. Yeah, let's walk. Yeah. Yeah. So, why, what, what do you like about chess? I mean, um, what inspired, what inspires you in chess? Um, probably um, concentration, which inspires me. Okay. And I want to concentrate on golf, and that's how I started chess, because I, that's one point, and also in golf. I started golf at the age of two, Okay. so I want to go ahead on golf and win exciting prizes, so yeah. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Probably a golfer and a chess player. Okay, And but if you had to choose one, which one would you choose? I'll probably choose chess. Chess? Yeah. Okay, so you prefer chess than golf? Yeah. Why? Because chess has to concentrate and in golf there are rare tournaments. But also in chess, there are very many tournaments, and that's how I can win so many awards. So apart from this 
tournament. Yeah. Have you ever gone to another tournament for chess? Yeah. I had gone to Kisumu. Okay. Where we had stayed in Rail Odinga Hotel. Really? Yeah. And wow. we also met him there. <gasps> so that was my wow. dream which I wanted to meet him and you wanted to meet Raila Odinga. Yeah. And, and I met him. Wow. So and, and I'm very happy. Yeah. So um now on I want to also meet other famous people in Kenya and like from different who? countries like Uhuru Kenyatta, Hi. Magnus Carlsen and many more. Me I want to meet a uh, Lupita Nyong'o. <laughs> Anyways, so you would rather choose chess. Apart so I'm just going to ask you a random question. Yeah. What's your favorite animal? Um probably a lion. A lion. Yeah. Why a lion? It's the king of the jungle and it's very brave. Okay. Like especially male lions. Okay. And you you're brave? Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much. That was a very nice. So I hope you win the inter I hope you win the championship. Thank you. And you, that you keep on winning and you'll be the top first chess player in the world. Yeah. So actually that is my dream. That is your dream. Yeah. Wait, one more question. Where have you gone for a golf tournament? Yeah, I had gone in Windsor Golf Club. Oh. And I came second because uh, that day I had made 98 shots and the oh. other person had made 97 shots. Oh. Just okay. by a shot I came second. Okay, but you are still kind yeah. of happy. Okay. So, now let's go to the tournament. Yeah. So, thank you so much. So, let's Let's go. We are going to be playing a game of chess. So let me start. No. Um I'm going to play the queen. I might lose her but that's okay. Okay, that's that's great. Um oh, I know. Um yeah, I just to see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She goes sideways. Yeah. So even here she'll so check. Yeah. Okay. Check. Dang. He can only go here, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see your plan. I know your trick, man.
I can't. Why? Checkmate. No. Oh no. No, you're supposed to say check. Checkmate, yes. I win. But you said you didn't say check. But I said checkmate. I was just going easy on him. <laughs> yeah, so he's a very good chess player. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, we are going to be going for a quick break, but don't go anywhere. Go feel your popcorn because I'm sure you're excited for the chess tour as I am because like, I'm super excited. You guys think that chess is just something so down, so ugh. Think chess, what do you think? You think, no, it's boring. It's actually quite fun because you use imagination. Well, not imagination, creativity and so much more. So anyways, I'll see you after the break and go follow our Facebook page at Young KTN Youngsters. Go follow my Instagram for a shout out at Shiro underscore Kenya. I'll see you after the break. <laughs>